Hi, this is John with a shot of the scripture. We're giving people uh, small portions of scripture in order that they can be inoculated uh, from the woke mindset of this world. And we're in the sec uh, the 13th chapter of Corinthians. And it's the love chapter. And that particular chapter uh, tells you all about love. If you want to find out what love is and how to be a master at love, then you should really read that chapter. And uh, we're in the second verse, and we're taking a look uh, at that love chapter. We'll start with the first verse. It says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, and I have not love, I am a noisy gong or clanging cymbal. And verse 2 says, If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and knowledge, and I have all faith as to remove mountains, but I have not love, I have nothing. Well, you're seeing here uh, some of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is prophecy. You know, there were individuals in the Old Testament times uh, that the Holy Spirit would come upon them and they would actually uh, tell us about things that would occur in the future. They even told about Jesus coming to earth hundreds of years before Jesus ever came. And um, But uh, it says here, if I have prophetic powers and I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, you know, if um, well, we can actually learn a lot of knowledge by reading the Bible. The Bible is basically a library of supernatural knowledge. It comes directly from God, and our minds can be renewed by reading the Scripture. But, um, uh, you know, a lot of times people go to college, and they get huge degrees and spend, you know, many, many years there gaining knowledge. But some of those people are good people. Some of those people are arrogant people, too. And uh, it says here, uh, if I uh, and I understand mysteries and knowledge and have all faith to remove mountains. You know, a good Christian, uh, Jesus said that if we prayed, if there was a mountain that needed to be moved, that he would move it for us if we were in his will. But I have love. I'm nothing. So love is that important. Uh, you know, uh, God uh, realizes that even if we're Christian and we have these prophetic powers, if we're not showing love, then all those powers become totally inefficient for the kingdom of God. And uh, love is the natural attribute of Christians. Um, there was a song that was written a number of years ago. It said, uh, they'll know we're Christians by our love. And uh, if you see somebody that is truly loving on other people and, uh, you know, showing their love to God, they're uh, truly in worship and prayer, uh, you know, that's an attribute of a true Christian. Uh, most Christians should be gentle and, um, you know, not try to bring attention to themselves, but um, a lot of times we're just like those, those noisy uh, symbols or or gongs, you know, that are just so loud, they, they pierce your ears. Uh, but the attributes of love, uh, a lot of times, are gentleness. And um, that's one thing is, in this love chapter, um, Paul had to uh, show us what love wasn't in order to show us what love was. And we're going to see a bunch of things here that uh, a lot of people confuse with love. And uh, if you confuse, uh, you know, you see, you might say, man, I love that art, that music artist, the one that, that raps and, you know, talks about how wonderful he is and how he's been in all these gang fights and all this. Uh, but, you know, if uh, people are doing bad things to other people, that's not love. And the world does not know what love is. And uh, it is very, very difficult for people to truly know what love is, unless they go to the source of love. The Bible tells us that God himself is love. That is the basic attribute of God. The heart of God is love. And he loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, not face hell, 
uh, where Satan and his uh, demonic angels are going to go, but have eternal life with him in heaven. And if you want to have eternal life, if you want to uh, have uh, a changed heart while you're here on this planet, uh, then you can look to Jesus Christ for your salvation, to be cleaned up, to be transformed, and uh, to be converted. And he can put love in your heart where it's never been before. And I hope that you are a person that's loving. And uh, as we continue to study the uh, 13th chapter of Corinthians, we're going to learn how to love. And I hope that you'll uh, stick with us and as we learn all about love from the source itself, from God. So uh, until next time, this is a shot of the scripture with John. And uh, you have a wonderful day.